In previous discussions, we've talked about how subluxation is known as a silent killer. And although that may seem a little bit crazy at first, you have to understand what a subluxation is and how it affects your body. I'm Dr. Joel Feeman, and I want to talk with you more about how to find and correct subluxations. You see, subluxation causes interference to your nervous system, which is devastating when it comes to your body and its ability to function and express life. One of the most important things about chiropractic is the fact we're not here to diagnose and treat sickness, symptom, and disease. We're here to find and remove the interferences that cause your body to struggle and not be able to express life at a high level. We understand something important. If your body functions well, then your body heals. But in the same sense, if there's interference, there's malfunction. When there's malfunction, the body, although capable of producing life and health and vitality, cannot do so. So our focus, rather than be on the effect, which would be the symptom, sickness, and disease, is more so on the underlying cause. Find the interference, remove the interference, and let the body heal better. So where do these interferences come from? Well, simply put, life. When is the last time you woke up and had no exposure to stress in your life? Whether it be physical, mental, emotional, financially stressed, emotional stress, chemical stress, whatever the case may be, the truth is we're bombarded with stress every day. The reality then is that these stresses cause our bodies to have interference. It's chiropractic and finding subluxation is really about finding out what your body needs to live a long, healthy, productive life interference free by finding the subluxations and removing them. I want to go over some bits and pieces of a little bit of a research to further explain subluxation. But before we do that, let's focus on just a few key pointers. First off, subluxations are when the bones of the spine move out of that normal, healthy position. Secondly, when the bones are moved out of that normal healthy position, it begins to pinch and irritate the nervous system. Third, your nervous system controls all function and all healing. When your nervous system becomes interfered with, it inhibits your body from communicating openly with the brain. This then leads to sickness, symptoms, malfunction, disease, and even premature death. Having these bones misaligned from the normal healthy position will also then cause those joints to decay and degenerate prematurely. This leads to arthritis, decreased motion, and increased pain. So you know without a shadow of a doubt what could be causing your body to be at less than 100%, but also in doing so, from a proactive standpoint, what you can do to inhibit this from ever occurring in the first place. Here are a few things that other doctors and research have shown about subluxation and how it affects the body. Dr. Chung Hao Su, University of Colorado, said a subluxation present for 30 minutes caused the nerve to function at only 40% of its capacity. A subluxation present for only 30 minutes causes the nerve to function at only 40% of its capacity. Think about that for just a moment. If a subluxation causes the nerve to function at only 40% of its capacity, then the question becomes, what happened to the other 60%? That's what happens when there's interference to the nervous system. There's that much interference that keeps the body from functioning at that high level. Dr. Gutman, a medical doctor, said that seven out of eight crib deaths occur at or shortly after birth. Even as far back as 1921, Dr. Henry Windsor did a study on autopsies to see if, when people died, if there was subluxation associated with a disease or organ malfunction or failure that led to that individual's death. What was interesting, according to Dr. Windsor's research, was that he showed that all organs that were supplied by a pinched nerve revealed pathological or diseased changes. He also showed in his studies that the more severely pinched and irritated the nerves were, the more progressive the disease was. The point with that is, this is not something that's brand new. This is stuff that even the own medical literature has shown as being looked into years and years ago. Additionally, Dr. Ronald Perot, Chief of Cancer Research at the NYU School of Medicine, also noted a study that, simply put, showed that patients who were under lifetime chiropractic care showed a 200% greater immune response than someone who was never adjusted. And for those people who are already diagnosed with cancer, there was a 400% difference between a chiropractic patient who was regularly adjusted, had a healthy, fully functioning immune system, compared to someone who was already diagnosed and being treated with cancer. You see, simply put, Chiropractic is not about treating sickness, symptom, or disease once again. It's about understanding what it is that we do and why we do it. It's about detecting subluxation interference and correcting that subluxation interference so your body can heal itself. So although not all chiropractors are trained the same, the key of chiropractic when properly practiced 
is to detect and correct interference of the nervous system so that you can feel good, heal good, and once again move good, function at 100% of your God-given health and healing potential. As you get adjusted, your subluxations are being reduced over time. This will allow your brain and your body to communicate at a higher level. As the brain and the body communicate better, your body functions better and heals better. Your specific recommendations are based off of your findings in what subluxations you have and what it's gonna take then to therefore get those subluxations corrected. At the end of the day, the less interference you have to your nervous system, the better overall health you have. Again, I'm Dr. Joel Feeman here to help you, to empower you with truth and knowledge so that you and your family can reach the level of health that you desire. Until next time, God bless.